Hello everyone and welcome to Mordheim Madness. My name is Karen. We're here for Group C and the winners game between Hole Poker and Quist. Hole Poker playing as the Sisters of Sigmar and Quist as the Mercenaries. We see that we're going up in Nobles Quarter Map Forum. I mean that's the map where there is a big building at the very center and some streets around it. Uh, actually, there are two really big buildings gonna see if one of these players occupies that there is a big chance that one of the players actually start very near that or in that building that could be a drawn out game we'll see how this goes both of these warbands are very ranged heavy so that could uh, mean or indicate that we get a very long game here you can see that whole poker won against minior a very strong victory although it was more of a map victory from what we have seen and uh, quest managed to eke out a decent win against Kart. Either player who wins here is gonna go up to the winner's bracket in the playoffs and the loser here is gonna go down to the decider's game and face whoever wins between Minior and Kart. Uh, I hear that they're about to get started here so let's just rush into the game and wish both of the players good luck. All right, here we are, Nobles Quarter. We can see that the rank here, rank rating here is 4,061 for Quest and 4,271 for Hulk Poker. So slight advantage here to Hulk Poker when it comes to rating, but they are very similar. So I don't think it actually plays any or has any effect. Each one deploys in a wide arc from the wagon, far from each other. So we're gonna see two shooting warbands uh, separated from each other. We might see a very long game here. Uh, we're gonna watch this game from Quist's perspective, uh, that's why he is in blue here, and we hope that that's gonna be interesting to see. So where is he? This is one of the buildings that is uh, one of the big buildings, and you see one here on the right as well, on the left as well. So you can see that uh, Hole Poker is uh, primed to go into that building, while uh, Quist might go into his building, and then you have some buildings separating the two. Lots of buildings, lots of shooting opportunity, and that's what we're gonna see. We see here that we have already three marksmen, a warlock, champion, sister superior, and the captain and two warriors. Must be another hero as well, there we go, a uh, warrior priest. Uh, we're gonna let them deploy here and uh, skip ahead. And here we are, last unit to be deployed by a whole poker, uh, that took us 7 minutes, uh, glad you didn't have to watch that. I hope that's not an indication of how long this game is going to go on. If you take a look at the top uh, left corner here, you can see that uh, Quist is uh, a bit disadvantaged when it comes to the morale, 166 to 264 for whole poker. So. You probably need to kill almost every single unit of whole poker to route him, while Quest is much more squishy. And I think that's because he's focused a lot on uh, intelligence and alertness. You can see that he has a clear uh, initiative advantage here against whole poker. Uh, so that is going to come into effect here and it's gonna be very much advantageous to whole poker remember that if you focus on initiative and then you do want your warbands to start relatively close so you can take advantage of that and start doing damage on the very first turn now uh, quest did not get that so most of his initiative has been a little bit wasted here you see that there is a really really low initiative for a whole poker M will be probably full of heavy armor here so it's gonna be fun seeing these two players uh, duel it out remember that when the tournament was about to begin here we had seven groups and we had seven players who were uh, ranked as uh, a top player and got uh, into the first seats and uh, then later on because we had some dropouts we were, I, was, I was forced to 
lower the amount of groups down to six because we lost four players. Uh, so even out every single group who lost a player, and that uh, meant that whole pokers group who is was the weakest. Uh, First seed, whole pocket that is, got placed into this group, and Quist is also. Uh, no, he's not a first seed, but he was a second seed, and that made this group very tough. Minyar was a uh, first seed here. And he didn't win, and I think that that makes whole pocket the uh, slight favorite here, and especially with this kind of opening, I think he's uh, a favorite. We'll see what Quist can do here. He had an excruciatingly long game against uh, Kart and uh, chances are we might see that again, I said that. Sister Superior is going to be nice, be able to boost up the movement, 50% armor and exhaustion as well. Oh, is, it, is the captain actually ranged here as well? With the pistols? That would be surprising. But this is Quist, and he loves range. I think that was a good choice. Um, getting the two slow, heavy armor warriors into the front lines as soon as possible. Huckstro and their hunts. It's better than boosting it on the captain. The captain has eight blue pills anyway. I'm sure he will get there eventually. A bit of a damage, uh, Nabilona here will suffer, know that the Warrior Priest can heal her up, and probably will. It's very nice seeing uh, the same players uh, with many different games from each of them as that gives you more of an indication of what you're capable of you learn a little bit more of their strategy and how they play and you also get a bit more familiar with uh, their units that they have in this tournament like Harkin Wrath here for instance which is um, I mean I know he's uh, with pistols here but I believe that he is a bit of a hybrid from what I've seen so far so he he has uh, mastered kidney strikes and mastered insults, so he can really lower the heal resistance of a single unit if he wants to. Which is kind of an odd choice, considering that none of uh, Quiz's melee units are really that uh, much of uh, in the way of a damage dealer. So why you would need to lower the melee resistance to make sure that your tanks hit, I have no idea. But that's what he has gone with. You can see the plus 3 movement here for with for Sigma really paying off. Putting the heavy armor warriors right into the front lines. We're gonna skip ahead on Holpoke's first turn here because we're not gonna see anything. And we're gonna wait until Schinkenhauer has made his move. You see, it's a beautiful initiative ladder from Hull Pocket, 35, 33, 33, and all the way down. Very efficient. And completely different from what he played against uh, Minion, mind you. Bit disconcerting here, we have seen most of Hull Poker's turn and Quest is not really using the minimap too much. Um, really wish he did do that more. Be able to spot uh, traps and maybe you can spot a unit or something if you're lucky. A new round has started. Gonna move into the buildings here. I think uh, Holbrook is probably occupied that uh, the big building. Might see a standoff. But in a standoff here, the, well, the Warlock will be very useful if Holbrook has brought a lot of purifiers and Comet of Sigma, especially if they have 40 range. They're gonna be a real hassle to deal with because in a standoff like this, the comets always win. 
uh, over the range because you can you just need to see a part of their shoe out the window and then you can fully target them without any penalty but that's not true with range they suffer up to 75% uh, less chance to hit uh, depending on the cover that the units has Probably best to check out the minimap during your opponent's turn, you have a lot of time on you. Might take the high ground here, but realistically I don't think Holpok is gonna go through these buildings anytime soon. So you don't need to be super careful and hide behind a wall here. But he's going to anyway. Should probably have moved forward there a little bit to, to the next wall. You're still behind the cover, but you're gaining a lot more space. Uh, taking up more space, I mean, covering space. You see the classic spells that uh, Quist has chosen: Armor of Lead, Lightning Strike, and Blinding Light. To have a non-master dispel. We've seen this before from him. Yeah, you don't have to show us the spells, we already know them. And if there's a new player here, we're gonna bring them up as uh, abilities are being used. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. It's so nice with maybe some a unit highlights here. Although it seems like a nice tactic something, you can use that to see if there's a unit here and there. But usually... But when it comes to area spells like these, they don't actually take any effect unless you partially see the target. And uh, Quist does not see a single target. So they cannot possibly take effect. It's one of the most annoying things with area spells. I said that before, like if you know that there is uh, a unit uh, that um, is behind a wall and you throw a fireball near it, they still won't take damage most of the time sometimes you can get uh, no one takes damage or nobody takes damage and then you know it's them because you're not identified but uh, this game relies a lot upon uh, line of sight there are also other problems of course with area spells uh, like that whenever you do click sometimes you can accidentally hit your mouse as a ton a little bit and then you wear off and then you miss with the spell or indeed casting up and casting down is not very easy when you're standing a level above your opponent it's actually a pretty poor overwatch uh, position to be in First of all, the area effect, if you're standing here with your character, is going to be very visible if you come through that small opening in the wall, as well on the big side. So you can just run into you without overwatch triggering. Same if you go into an ambush there. A um, little bit better, I suppose, but I would be very surprised if uh, Holpok is rushing towards uh, Quest here. What can Huckster do? Just be careful triggering any traps here that could uh, give whole poker an indication of where he is.
And we have Dear Hans, an almost identical warrior here. He has a different weapon. Uh, uses the axe instead of the sword, which is uh, a bit stronger. When it comes to doing damage, sword is nice for the chance to score critical hits there. And warriors do have a lot of accuracy, even after they um, maximize their weapon skill out of the martial points. So it could be worthwhile sometimes to have swords with them. Just for that off uh, crit chance ability. Can I see I healing here now? On the sister superior maybe. Yep. Heals 80 wounds. Also, she had only been hurting for 30. I don't throw that. Uh, deny the Heretic and Poison Clowns and other sort of area spells that linger on the battlefield. They are all seen on the mini map. Well, uh, any kind of area spell. If you throw a fireball into the distance, your opponent will see it on the mini map. So, you're gonna give out your position here. While it might not be too surprising for Pocket to know that you move towards him, um, it does give him um, the knowledge here that you have uh, skipped out on occupying the building at least. So not going that way. Another turn without them seeing each other is about to pass on by here. A new round has started. This could be a very dangerous move here if Hulpoker is in that big building uh, or even if he's just behind the wall here. Doing a little scouting but... Notice not a single unit here is being shown. Where can Hulk Poker's team be? This is a prime map um, using something else than bows I think if you go with uh, hunting rifles for example on your marksman you can gain quite a bit of range and this is a map where range dominates because as you can see there are so many well, there's a lot of open space here and the 30 range of the bows might not cut it cut it bows are pretty good uh, definitely one of the best range weapons in the game but uh, might be advantageous here sometimes to use uh, hunting rifles and if you're gonna do that this will be one of the games uh, as you can see here as all of us have seen in the previous game as well Quist is a very conservative and cautious player he's moving very slowly having a lot of range and uh, whole poker does mimic that I think we will see that from uh, his games as well um, the first game was not too much of an indication, but I think in the future games you're gonna see that. And I have pegged that Holpok is one of the dark horses of this tournament. We'll see how that turns out. 
Holbrook is really good at playing cautiously and uh, trying to get advantages early on in the game, but as soon as people close in on him, he tends to make a lot of uh, very nervous mistakes uh, move, and that usually loses him the game against a more experienced opponent. He's gonna scout out a little bit here. Is he trying to circumvent him? No, he's not. So where is Holbrooker? And uh, I don't think that that might be the... I, I think we're gonna go for a shootout here because uh, Quiz does not have too much in the way of... Uh... Okay. In the way of melee, uh, melee power. And the uh, same is probably true for Hulkbunker as well. Probably not having too much melee power either. Hope this warlock has a bit of extra range. 40 range would be really good here. Yes, you have shown us all of these spells once before. We don't need to see them a second time. Master sidestep. So it's, uh, it's a bit weird that he, he's wearing a bow. Uh, he's using a bow here. Um, should probably use a staff instead. The master sidestep is good. Okay, is Chris going to make the opening move here towards that big building? I think as soon as it's Holpoker's turn, we're gonna see him just peek out of that big building here. Yeah, this could be costly if he stays out in the open. Is Nabellona uh, going to do that? No, she's not. No one is gonna go running into an ambush here, but maybe it can protect the, the melee units coming up from behind. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Really not having the best of luck here with the uh, bread of sufferings always triggering and then the since that was the second trap going off uh, for Quest, Holpoke should have a very good idea of where he is. No doubt Holpoke is checking him in the map, which Holp which Quest is not doing most of the time. I think what Quest is doing with the minimap is that he's just checking is the unit has the unit been spotted yet? Has the unit been spotted yet? Uh, rather than checking the minimap for traps triggering. Uh, to reveal the position of a unit. In the early stages of the game here, almost every single player in the tournament scene, they will always group up all of their units like this. So if a trap goes off, you can be pretty sure that all of the other nine units are right around that spot as well. I have yet to see a single player use that as some sort of misdirection. Uh, we have not reached that kind of intelligence in play yet. In fact, it's a bit of a worrying sign, I think, uh, when we see some of the players um, uh, in this tournament that there is not much of a competition, really. Even in a tournament like Modern Madness, who is which is uh, the most even tournament so far uh, but it's missing a few of the better players and uh, even though the Warband finals were released the players could come up to par with these players they have not really done that most of them Quiz certainly has and he's doing relatively well with his uh, maxed out mercenaries Warband but we have lots of other players in uh, this tournament that has not done that. Maybe it's about time that you ease the, tr the process even further. 
Maybe give them already made out warbands that are level with lots of level 10 characters that you can just fill in uh, whatever skills and attributes that you want. Maybe that will help people to get up to a similar power level because I think it takes away a bit from the the competition in a way that some players have a very big mechanical advantage and that's certainly been the, the way of the past. I don't think that you should take too much uh, into all tournament wins and uh, whoever all, all of the players that were supposed to be good back then because really they had virtually no competition. There was nothing like this and even more than Madness is struggling with this competition. I think we have just a few players that are able to win this realistically. It's gonna be Slavier, Talon and I think Kinopar and Hulkwalk are the two main dark horses. They can probably do something here. Uh, I would have thought that uh, maybe Marcus Kane and Miniar could come into it, but now I'm not so sure. Although Marcus Kane has not lost a game yet, so we'll see on that score. He's a remarkably resourceful player when it comes to eking out wins. Here we go, the entirety of Hulkwalker's Warband. Round has started. Round four, still haven't seen each other. Um, makes you wonder where is Hole Poker? Where is Hole Poker? Is he just sitting in that big building? Possible, possible. Uh, in the last, maybe he's picked up a, a tips or, or so. In the last tournament, he was beaten out uh, as soon as he got to the playoffs by Happy, who did the exact same thing to him. He just. Uh, ran out into a big building, sat all of his units there and waited for Hulkwalker to come to him. Hulkwalker didn't uh, want anything to do with that and uh, deployed in the other part of the map and they just sat there and watched each other for two hours before they agreed to meet in the middle. Um, so, gonna see what happens. I really hope Hulkwalker hasn't done that though. It's a very boring style of play. So as we said, competition is a bit stale, um, even in Mordai Madness. Wish more players would uh, try and engage themselves. I think uh, Holbrook and Chris are certainly giving us hope. Both of them uh, were crushed in the last tournament and they are here now trying to up uh, their power level a little bit, planning up more tactics. And so forth. And I welcome that. I wish more players did that. We have we have a few players who have been uh, very promising in that regard. Yeah, we don't see anything behind the walls, here, do we? No, we do not. Nothing behind the walls. So old poker is not there. Yep, Just checking to be sure. thing is that Holbrookie might not actually be in the big building. Let's see, is there a balcony here that he can step out, out to and spot him? Because we've had the other marksman of Quist in the open, this one, Car, Car Bargenbach, and uh, he has not seen a single unit of Holbrookers yet. Maybe you can't actually... Maybe there is no balcony on that side of the building. In this game, I don't see one. Uh, risky positions, definitely risky positions. And I, I, I really dislike when people go for these small little gaps in the walls, because when you stand right behind that, you're you have this character aura around you and people always forget that. You see this character, the, um, the champion for instance, you see the character aura around him. 
that's part of every single character and when we went into an overwatch there what will happen is that if Holpok actually sees him runs into that little gap in the wall he can just run into that and uh, there will be a uh, character aura uh, area there and you just run into it and you deny the overwatch or ambush or whatever it is it's just basic 101 in where you should not ambush or overwatch still lots of players do it lots of players do it all the time you see the area you saw it yeah he's running out of space to hide people here So Holbrook could still be in the big building because I don't see a balcony or window or anything he could peek out from and see if there's anyone exposed. And if he had done that, the marksman on the, on the high ground would have spotted him for bargain buck. And he did not! I would see a window there, but... Mm, yeah, maybe he's not in the building, or maybe he's on the other side of the building. But there's been a lot of turns here, so he could really be anywhere. We did see that uh, Quist went to the right side here and the eastern side to see if uh, Holbrook was circumventing him. And at that point he was not, but maybe he, he has. Maybe he's in his... Uh, on the eastern part of the map gonna have to see here Harkin Wrath If he could step out here, he could definitely shoot at the, sh at the captain here. Since he's not hugging the wall. Trying to avoid the trap. Lids that covers up the big gap here. Um, he's really advancing towards the, the doorway here. He's gonna be seeing here if uh, Holbrook has actually taken the icon on his wagon. We can see that on the wagon itself, if that's the case, because then it lacks the icon. Let's see if he looks at the minimap here, at least for a short moment. Okay, so he's clearly giving off uh, his location there. I know that this uh, robot has increased the range and everything, but uh, that's gonna be a big flare on uh, Hull Poker's uh, minimap. Gonna do the same here, uh, here on the corner. On the other hand, if one of Hull Poker's units actually do step into that area, it will flag up 
on the right part of the screen and uh, Holbroker will be, uh, or Quiz will be notified. If someone stepped into his area then he knows there is a unit there. I'm gonna wait and see if there is a unit that actually shows up here for Holbroker. Let's see if there's, that's gonna trigger. You see where the combat log is slightly lower than that, but we see the little yellow sword now indicating the ambush of uh, Hackstro, I think it is, the warrior in the bottom right corner. That's where you will see a Deny the Heretic sign flashing up whenever a, a unit steps into it. Mm, it's the same with the poison globes, by the way, or indeed warp mists or enshrouding mists. Anything that leaves uh, an area of effect on the battlefield. All right, all right, all right. A bit of a tense situation. We're just waiting here for something to happen. I remember that both of these uh, warbands might have a warrior priest, so if they do take a little bit of damage, it's gonna be healed up and they're gonna go hiding again. So it's gonna be a long shootout. You, it's important that if you do start shooting at something, that you do kill it. Uh, otherwise it will be healed up by the warrior priest. <gasps> we do see a unit! We do see a unit! Uh, wow! It did seem like Holpok actually circumvented... Is that a handgun? I think it is. Think that might be a so he has circumvented him or he just went into hiding in these buildings but yeah quiz did went up there with one he was up right there in that specific window he was there with one of his marksmen and uh, i don't think holbrook hit a unit there so he came in right afterwards he must have been so close, Holbroker should have heard Quist's uh, units moving around if he was in the building to the left here. Running out of time, ah! wow, wow, that's that's extremely lucky, see 5% uh, critical hit chance, scoring, uh, ah, wow. <clears throat> Wonder if Quist has any poultices, he can probably heal that damage up very easily. But, um, yeah, Arnold Verbuggen, sneaky bastard at Erwin Kalvier, so we, we don't, don't know that he has at least one more range unit, yeah. Lots of marks may come up here, he's gonna focus on the unit that's stunned here, it's easy to hit. And just following the advice we talked about a little bit earlier here, trying to do kills. Had this better ah! damage, yeah, indeed. Von Trox is gonna be beaten up here. If he has adrenaline rush, he could do another shot. Um, uses up all of his blue pills to get to that shot, alright. Now Quiz can fire back uh, on the mark on that marksman though. Maybe he can even get up there and cause some serious damage with the, one of the warriors and uh, the champion, maybe. Gonna be interesting to see. Holbrook is probably moving units now to try and cover that space. But uh, since they both only shot once, it's an indication that... Oh, we saw a smuggler here for one of the heroes for Holbrook. Uh, it's an indication that they moved quite a bit of distance to get up there. But it's a, ni it's a nice sneak attack by Holbrook. I didn't expect that. See the poker here, uh, the smuggler, I mean, actually being revealed. Yep bit light on uh, the blue pills so moved quite a bit of distance was probably in the in the building behind all of the debris here that behind the shackle or shack I mean vital shot wow uh, that was uh, really well a bit less lucky you see 67% Chance on that. Wow, I scores another one. Um, so that's 1 0 to hole poker. 1 0 to hole poker. Mm. 
Nice sneak attack. And it paid off right away. It got one of the marksmen. Does he have anything else that he can shoot with? Something that can reach. This is gonna trigger Quiz. He needs to get in there. Remember that both of those marksmen are in the building. The smuggler is nearby. Oh, he has two smugglers. He has two smugglers. And he's up there. Uh, yeah, really need to get into that building. Uh, even if you're just under that building, uh, all of those uh, range units are gonna be wasted if they have nothing to shoot at. Okay. Gonna see. Are he, is she gonna do any shots here? Should probably at least shoot once. I don't know what she's doing. Hillary Horn. She has used exhaustion, but. Uh... Another vital shot here. 40% chance on the captain. Not uh, succeeding that time. Gonna be another sh single shot. And the uh, score is a critical hit. The stun resistance is, however, successful there. Sometimes it's, um, you know, for example, we have seen uh, Solfer in this tournament who uses the same thing. He has uh, pistols and he uses vital shot, the regular vital shot. And I always said that it's better to use three shots than uh, two single vital shots. But for Holpok it's different because he has a much, much higher critical hit chance. And he's also trying to conserve the blue pills here, so he can move out of danger or move into a firing spot. I'm sure that uh, he might stop using the mastered vital shots when they're no longer useful and he has to do the damage instead of with three shots. There's been some nice uh, hits here. Uh, wonder if Quist has any poultices though. Wow, there's lots of range. Lots of range. Only is coming up now. One by one. Uh, it's a really nice ambush here by Hope. Okay, we're gonna see some comets raining down now. Or aren't we? Moving back a little bit so she can... Uh, Gives her less targets, but at um, least she's starting to do more damage to their hands. It's nice to hit their hands here, because he has a lot of armor and he's very tanky. And uh, this is one of the main ways of actually damaging him. Since you might not get too much out of uh, shooting him uh, or milling him when it comes to damage. It's a good roadblock. I think Holpoke might have actually checked up the units here as he started shooting what kind of critical hit resistance they have because that directly affects how high critical hit chance he has with the smugglers. Um, and they might have a quite high critical hit resistance. We saw that Von Trox, the marksman, did not, but that's a common fault in building between. Well, for pretty much all players, they tend to use uh, Resilience and Mark of Luck on their melee units, so they are very critical hit resistance, so that they don't get stunned. But all of the soft units, like Warlocks and Marksmen and Purifiers, they rarely get any kind of critical hit resistance, so they are easy to score critical hits on, and then subsequently stun and finish off. So it's really important for them to not be in the open and trying to hug walls and hug cover and hide behind cover all the time so you can't be shot at. Or indeed reached by a melee unit. Yeah, that's a lot of firepower from Hulk Poker. All in the same building. So important to tie them. Oh yeah, yeah we do see a novice here. So that novice is gonna block. Um, the path, I suppose. Oh, she has a great hammer, which explains the low, uh, the low initiative here. So I'm probably gonna leave her here in the open. 
She has this blue aura around her, and you know what that is? That is an indication that there is a sister superior uh, on Hope Poker's side as well. Using careful approach, increased range of sister by 20%. So she wants to be shot dead, but she's not using a shield, so careful approach is less useful here. At least she's blocking the path, but I think she can be shot down and equalize the score here uh, for quest. And if we can move around the building, I'm sure she can trap that matriarch maybe and hopefully get up the stairs and start doing some really heavy damage on the horror poker. Might be more novices hanging about with great hammers. Great hammers are not that fantastic. I mean, you have a, you do more damage when you score a critical hit, but you usually don't do that with these units, uh, so it's a bit wasted. They do 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 the most damage, uh, have a heavy penalty to initiative, and I think that's what Hulk Poker was really aiming for here, because if you saw his initiative ladder, it was beautiful, going from 35 to 29, so it's much more planned out here than I think Quist is. So Quist has the novice, uh, or was that a sister maybe, um, in uh, with a ca in careful approach that he can shoot and kill. Uh, he has one of the marksmen that's standing right in the window. He could target. Gonna see what the wall. A new can round well, he can has started. Sneak around and do a bit of damage himself. I wonder how we got there. He must have moved around the map from building to building. Yeah. Because if he ran straight this uh, down that direction, he would have been spotted at some point. Yep, and the fight begins, but it is an advantage to hold pocket right now. We're gonna see if Quiz can equalize it here. Oh no, don't use an oil bomb, please don't use an oil bomb. No! An oil bomb is... <sighs> oil bombs are... Oh, you don't even hit her. Oh, unbelievable. An oil bomb, they're good. Uh, even the blue ones. Yes, you do a lot of damage with them. Yes, it's it's better to use them on the tanky warrior henchmen though. Because they're not gonna do much damage anyway. With... Oh yeah, see even another one here, easy to shoot at. But why why use an oil bomb there especially if you're not even hitting it's uh, yeah I, I i don't get it i don't get it because the oil bomb is a zone of control people don't want to run into it so by throwing an oil bomb you're saying that yes i do not want to enter this area but quiz needs to get in there so why use an oil bomb why use an oil bomb? If he, he, he's probably gonna run in there anyway and take the damage himself. That's one of the nastiest things when it comes to uh, oil bombs is that people use them because they're good and we see them a lot in PvP. But most of the time, it tends to be that the person who threw the oil bomb takes more damage from it because they're so careless of where they throw it. They think it's a good position now, but they don't think ahead. They don't think ahead on the subsequent turns where they want to move. So they deny themselves air space that they probably want to use themselves. Yeah, be careful of those flames. It's probably gonna trigger that. Okay, you can go out there to the right and see if you can spot anything that you can actually start hurting. Oh yeah, right away. Probably an ambush. Yep. Oh, you saw 65% armor. That means there is a warrior priest as well for whole poker. That means we figured out uh, all of the hero choices of whole poker here. It's uh, warrior priest, two smugglers, and a sister superior somewhere. Haven't actually seen the sister superior 
or the smuggler yet, but I know that they are out there. Gonna see a last uh, lightning strike. Doing a decent amount of damage here uh, on Sister Catherine. I have to be aware of that 20% stench curse. I mean, imagine if you had a staff. That would only be an 8% chance then. Oof. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, don't stand there. Move away. Mm. No. No, you could get, you could get trapped. You could get trapped. Need to get someone, one of the heavy armored warriors, uh, down there and go into an ambush to cover the backside of that uh, warlock. And the Bellona here is uh, gonna cover one entrance here for Hope Poker. Don't actually have to go into an ambush stance here. Can do that. But the character aura as we spoke of before is uh, definitely blocking off that pathway. See he wanted he wanted to go in there but he threw the oil bomb. I think this is a tactical blunder. I mean just shoot up uh, the sister there in the Great Hammer and then go in, kill her and then move on up into the house and disrupt anything that Hole Poker is planning to do. That would have been the wisest move. You could definitely kill off that henchman. I don't know. I should stop talking about him. I'm just annoyed by the quiz. He could have done a lot better with their quest. Hurricane Wrath is gonna do here, remember he has open wounds on him, he's suffering a critical hit. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. I think that's why um, when it comes to Warlocks, I think that in the metagame right now, you're seeing Armor of Righteousness or Armor of Sheath as uh, they're saying, uh, being used quite heavily by every single Order Warband. Uh, and it's everywhere so, and it's something that um, the destruction players are gonna contend with that's what's gonna make the rise here for both whole poker and kid and paw both of them are just abusing that quite a bit and I think that's gonna lead to a, a little bit of a shift in the meta for the warlocks um, I think that the spells that he has chosen uh, for this particular warlock quest is pretty good but they're not good for the meta anymore. I think he needs to get uh, Curse of Rust. It's uh, a spell that only costs two red pills and it removes 40% armor. Uh, that and the dispel uh, are gonna be crucial going forward for the meta here when it comes to building the warlocks. So you can actually do something about all of this armor of righteousness stacking. It's also very useful against uh, Call of Van Hell for the, the zombies. zombies. Mm, yeah, be careful so you can still go out. Yeah. Alright, alright. Move and protect the Warlock. Come on, move and protect the Warlock. Please move and protect the Warlock. Well, if you use that on yourself, you're not... No! You have 70% armor, come on! I have megalomania, so you have a... Okay, so he's not gonna use anything with you. I'm, 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 I'm fearful of what's gonna happen to this warlock. I think some, something can probably reach him. I... <sighs> needs to do something. Quiz seems to be of the mind here that nothing can reach the warlock, but it wasn't that uh, if, even the one that the warlock shot at could probably reach him. He didn't move that far.
Yeah, it's not like that's the prime position to move through anyway. Uh, like, it has an oil bomb on it. Polpok is gonna be reluctant unless he sees uh, a big advantage going through. And uh, does he do that? You can see here it was also useless using that uh, that healing draught since he was gonna get the healing anyway from the warrior priest. So basically, he would, if I only had taken uh, the warrior priest's uh, healing, he would have just 10 uh, wounds less. Um, and since the healing draught heals 20, he could have saved that for a little bit later. What is the tr 35? Is that... It's probably the Sister Superior then. It makes sense, doesn't it? Like, for example, if it's the Sister Superior, what she can do is that she can... Uh, let's see here, she can... Uh, yeah, for Sigma on the two... Yeah, I, I, I think it's yeah, gonna be the Sister Superior, that's 35. Makes sense with the initial ladder, you know, but it would have been even more effective if she was uh, uh, 32 or something like that. Ah, yeah, it's still... It's not that perfect often. Like, the initiative is close, but I wonder if he has uh, any strategic thought with how they're grouped up and which order they come in. Common tactic, for instance, with the uh, superiors that you... Uh, have them slightly behind two smugglers, and then you use delay on the two smugglers, and then the sister spear comes in, casts uh, four sigmar, then the smugglers can move with plus three movement, do a lot of shooting, and then when it's the next turn, since the smugglers started before the sister spear, they do still have the sister sigma on them for the second turn as well. Meaning that they become extremely mobile. You see exhaustion here, doing damage. Well, see, you see, we hear the exhaustion doing damage. So the smugglers don't have anything to shoot at right now. Alright, they do now. Here we go. I think those are Hochland rifles, by the way. Due to how much damage they did in the critical hit, up to 94. And that would. Uh, well, we talked about this very early in the game here that uh, the extra range is going to pay off on this particular map. And we see both of the marksmen have uh, rifles of some kind. It might be handgun, handguns, it might be Hochland rifles. But I think that Hochland rifles are what uh, these uh, smugglers are using. And he seems to be eyeing the warlock. No. <gasps> I this is superior. Okay. Another critical hit. Not as lucky this time. Another open wounds on one of the main characters of Quiston. Exhaustion taking 30 damage off the other full poker smugglers. Probably going to go up into the same area, huh? Start shooting. If you find one good uh, vantage point for shooting, you're gonna... Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm gonna do the same here. <coughs> Another aim on Nabilona. See, she, she doesn't do that much damage, but when you score a critical hit, uh, you do bypass a lot of armor. But still, if you double that up, so 72 and then 90... Yeah, it's, I think it's the rifles. It's this the rifles. <coughs> Just to get the indication here, because if it's a handgun, they would uh, bypass a little bit more armor, probably being around the 45-50 damage here per shot. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's here the reloading. This Aminius. There, there are some melee inside that we haven't seen from Holpok yet, and they're probably blocking the stairs up uh, towards where these smugglers and marksmen were. Can the marksmen actually reach? Remember that this costs quite a bit to reload these guns. It's two blue pills if you have quick reload. It leaves only four blue pills left remaining, so it might not have it. The movement here to move and shoot. Unlike the smugglers. Probably went into an overwatch somewhere. If she goes up to the same place where the smugglers shot from, she can throw down a few comets and Nabilona as well. Focus fire on that hero. Yeah, it comes down to that firebomb, I instant get it. Moving into that building would have been so good just to finish off that damn. I mean, it's not a bad tactic by Hope to place someone like that, but careful approach was not gonna do too much. She didn't have a shield on her, and the police have killed her. And I don't know if there's anyone else actually guarding that uh, that path. Could be right outside the building guarding that entrance, and then you can just walk by, walk in, go up there, start harassing both the smugglers and uh, the two marksmen. And in close quarters, they can't really shoot anyway, so could have been a brilliant move. That we are here. So two delays here. Let's skip the head on. Shard sixty nine damage. <laughs> Let's shout there for a short moment. Adrenaline rush, baby. Do a second attack. Well, that's interesting. Um, what weapon does, does she have? Is that a flail? It is a flail, isn't it? There's plus 10 initiative. There's plus 20. That's plus. Wow. That's plus 35 initiative if that's the case. Oh, we're gonna see some comets raining down here on Nabilona. No? Kind of a waste, isn't it? That uh, Matriarch could have done a lot of damage. Hulk of yes. No, don't want to do any damage here. See the Warrior Priest being uh, used here for once. I'm gonna go up there and just. Yeah, there's a battle going on here. I don't want to help. Okay. Healing up a bit of the damage that uh, Sister Catering received from the Warlock. Could probably do that again. Is it worth the Divine Rat success? Yeah, maybe. It's gonna be 16%, it's not too high. Arm of Righteousness, right.
Remember that he cannot heal himself, uh, even though the Matriarch probably has uh, some healing here. Went into the oil bomb, there you see it. So the little tag. So went into the oil bomb and went into the Nida Heretic. That's gonna go, go into the ambush. Uh, you don't have actually have to go into the ambush. If you snake through the wall and you can probably just go right into this character because his character aura is probably right out there and easy to see. Well, maybe we should yeah I should <laughs> You might have wanted to trigger that, I don't know. That's gonna be paying off at least. A critical hit here. Managed really lucky with the stun resistor check here, 18%. Um, <laughs> you see the arrow sticking out from her eye here too. Yeah, see, this is the, this is the tactic that Hulkbucker has. So, he has a new round has started. initiative. Switches to um, Flail, that's plus 10, so it's plus 20 initiative already. And then plus uh, 50 more to Crimson Shade, up to 64. See, taking damage from the oil bomb. Let's keep track of that. So we are, right now, they have taken equal amount of damage from the oil bomb. Fired someone. Just wasting your time. The Divine Revelation has been cast here. 50% range resistance. So that Overwatch is definitely going to be triggered by the Matriarch or the Warrior Priest at some point. Let's see what they do here. Looking for, us, for someone to shoot. A bargain box. Ah! Ouch! We knew that there were overwatches here because he didn't get to use uh, these. Ah, uh... oh, that's such a big mistake! Why? Why, Quist? Ugh, oh, you went in at the exact wrong angle so you can't disengage from that either. Good lord! Yeah, and right in front of the marksman here too, you're easy to hit, yeah, the, that's just sacrificing <coughs> uh, this unit, I think. Luckily, it's just, yeah, taking more damage. Good lord. Uh, such a poor move by Chris, he should have, he, he, he didn't pay enough attention, that's it, he didn't pay enough attention. Lucky, lucky Brontifer. I have to say that though. Brontifer is really lucky. He should probably have been engaged. I mean, the Mater could have reached him. Warrior Priest could have reached him. Gonna see a lightning strike? Gonna. Do quite a bit of damage here. He's gonna even out the score. 1 1. Uh, even though I feel that. Yeah, 59. Could have a chance. Ah, oh, 2. Two wounds remaining here, a bit lucky for Old Poker. Uh, I feel that Old Poker does have a, a sizable advantage now. I'm gonna finish off one of these units before they get to move. And then if they were boosted up. Uh, yeah, even worse. Boosted up to 64 initiative to get a second attack off. That failed for Sister Helena. Succeeded on this unit though. 
Nabilona is gonna take some damage here from two attacks, maybe even three attacks. 68% chance, yeah, that's not great if I hit chance then. Armor of Righteousness really paying off. You see, there's gonna be a new meta here. You need to be able to beat this. You need to be able to beat this. I don't know why the fear test trigger right now, but that was odd. At least Navalona made it. Doesn't have much of a hit chance. Wow, that really paid off. A bit lucky here with the hit for Hulk Monkey, but uh, we just had the score evened out, and just as we said that, in the very next move, Hulk Monkey takes the lead. 2 1. Yeah, yeah, this is the. And the fear test is not gonna matter for Brontifer, the Warlock there, but uh, neither is the Web of Steel. But he's gonna be severely limited in where he can go. Okay, so another oil bomb here, so slight more damage on the whole poker now than uh, on Quist himself. Gonna go into the marksman or bargain box here. Who foolishly enough entered into melee combat. Yep, and he fails his fear test. <laughs> Not that he had great life. That's gonna be interesting. He remember that when the Carbargan Buck attacked in melee, he had 30% chance. Now he's gonna have 1%. Since he failed the fear test. Well, it's gonna take the fear test again when it's his turn. So, three times damage here on Hulk Well, it's not doing too much damage. But the uh, Deny the Heretic is much more useful. Removing a red pill each time they run through that. If you can reach the Warlock, that would have been fantastic. You can probably go and tie down the Warrior Priest as well to make sure that you can't heal things. Or do you want to finish off Carbargan Bok? Carbargan Bok is already dead. Would be better to tie down something else. Limit quiz options here. <laughs> Bread of Suffering? Bread of Suffering is triggering every single trap in this game. Kinda <laughs> like that. Okay, a bit. Uh, Yeah, why would you want to trigger that? I don't, didn't want to trigger the damage, but... Um, isn't this where the Warrior Priest is? Yeah, it is. Succeeded at the Fear Test, it's gonna be immune on his own turn. It's gonna tie him up. Um, without a stance. Didn't have enough movement for that. Uh, interesting for Hole Poker. I mean, he has every single advantage here locking down units. Has uh, one here and one henchman killed off Quist, and Quist has only killed one henchman off Hole Poker, so it's one here advantage. And he needs to get to the. Yeah, get get towards the matriarch. I oh you see you see you see the matriarch and the warrior priest are both locked up against the wall. They could uh, potentially no no don't go into the seventy percent henchman. Please don't go into the seventy percent henchman. And you don't even have a good chance of hitting her. So you're gonna tie up two heroes against one henchman. Ah oh. oh. It's not even gonna produce an all alone here because uh, the warlock has a ranged weapon on. Mm, oh, and you failed the fear test. You should have checked that as well. Wow. Wow. I just have to say. That. Yeah, really poor. Really. Poor. I mean, the warlock. We've seen him. He has mastered sidestep. There is nothing that that henchman can do to this warlock except tying him down. But you're wasting the entire damage output of 
if, if I were Hulk Poker with that henchman, I would just start attacking uh, the champion actually. Because you can do reliable damage on the champion, the warlock you won't actually get anything done on. I mean, for the first turn he's gonna do damage on the warlock if he chooses to do that. But, uh, oh, God no. Okay, this is better. This is better. Failing the fear test again, yeah, he's really weak on this. Really weak with the fear tests. Did he strike? <laughs> Miss. Too bad, he needed, to, he needed the extra hit chance here. Um, losing 30 from fear would have gotten his back up with a I managed to land one. Nice. Waiting here deliberately to make sure that there is no desync. Yeah, why not attack Hurricane Brock with uh, High Guard Julian on his right? He's all, almost dead. 161 wounds. I didn't even enter in a stance either, so. This manages to succeed on the fear test here. Yeah, it's really, really hurtful. You can see that Arm of Righteousness is uh, what. Uh, Hulk Broker here is uh, using a lot of and was mostly actually winning him the game, I think. Yeah. Even though he's had some nice critical hits from the range here, it's really neutralizing Quist's Warband, who's only wearing helmets and doesn't have any good uh, uh, fear and terror resistance. As you can see, it's Hulk Broker's plan for this. I think that his uh, <coughs> is probably much better. See that all of his henchmen are not using helmets. They are not going down that path. They are probably using pendants. Make sure that you're good against all alone, fear and terror. Uh, it's a lost cause. Don't heal up Carp Argenbach. Oh well, doesn't matter actually. So that's two. Uh, Hits for Quist, three for Hole Poker. <laughs> you see what I mean here. Is there someone up there? Yes. See a poor ambush. Uh, <laughs> poor place to place your unit. But Elvin Culver here can get away. Why use armor break? If you were gonna use armor break, you should have started out with armor break because then you would have done more damage on the second attack. Yeah, don't attack. Just do something else. Don't attack. Six to seven damage. That's not worth an attack. Uh, deny the heretic. Healing hand definitely on the captain. The captain is almost dead and it's exposed. If the smugglers come up, they start shooting him. Good. Help the captain hit. But uh, healing hand. No! No! Quist! Quist! What are you doing? 6, 7 damage! Good lord! Heal up the captain! Throw down a deny the heretic! Do something! Burn the witch doesn't work on her. She's not a spellcaster. At least, at least doing something. I wonder if the captain is gonna die now from the smugglers. I might die. Yeah, it's not that interesting, but you're making the wrong calls, Quest. You can have this. <sighs> Carbargan Bok is gonna get shot and killed here.
Yeah, it was a nice ambush by Hope Hockey, I have to say, but he only lost one henchman and uh, open wounds on the captain. Could have pulled it back then. Didn't just make the right decisions. Could be interesting to see what this uh, sister here has when it comes to all the loan shots. See if we are right about the pendant. <clears throat> Unless Car Bargain Bok here dies before that might also happen. Here we go! Rifle Smuggler. What will she shoot at? We should keep doing the, mo the most vital shots, so we should do something else. Indecisive. Hey, yeah, that's. If, you, if you, she can get the mercenary captain, just do that. Easy kill. Easy kill was he's not healed up. And you move back and forth from the same point. Oh, come on. Oh wow. Uh, so see that the standard sister check at least. From Tifer. Now it actually might be worthwhile to... Uh, attack, yeah, definitely gonna attack Rome for here with the uh, with the sister. I think that's a good choice. Since he's stunned. Oh, no need. Dead. Nice sniping. So if you can reach Brom the Fair, you can definitely reach the mercenary captain, can't you? You want to be up there because that's 10% hit chance. You definitely reach the, yeah, I can reach the captain. 25% oh. chance to score a critical hit here. Didn't succeed at that shot. Gonna see two more shots here coming up probably. Yeah, and there we go. Us done. Us done, and probably gonna see... A uh, dead uh, Hurricane Wrath here. So he's, he's a bit of an old build, but. we been working out a little bit for this. Not in this game. 26 morale loss. Uh, only 11 morale left. Uh, only 11 morale left. The Warrior Priest, still alive. See what he can, he can do to turn this panel around. Probably can't do anything. He's locked up against the sister superior. Oh, couldn't disengage from that. That's odd. And sidestep. Gonna keep uh, that warrior up right for a long time. There we go. The Overwatch triggered. Yes, as we said. But you might get a lot of return comments here, Marandrax. Uh, it's gonna be the warrior priest to take the route, just because we saw the champion who's still alive there against the 70% armor sister, really poor choice. He was not having a good chance with the fear test indicating that he has virtually no leadership to speak of. Are we gonna see a round test? Your warband morale is critical. Yeah. What kind of leadership does the warrior priest have? He's the gun. We'll be taking this test. It's a nice combination, I like this. I like this for the matriarch. Attack and a comet because the triggers are passive. Actually, let's bring that up. 
Massive! Of successfully casting a spell, the cost of the next melee attack or charge is reduced by one point. So you can just uh, keep cycling that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you cast a spell, attack, it only costs one red pill. Cast a spell, attack, it only costs two red pills, is your two handed. You do a lot of damage that way. Where's the warrior priest going? Gonna see the Rotas coming up here. Right into the Knight of Heretics, he loses a red pill. Fail the healing hand. Yeah, I don't think the Warrior Priest has too good of a leadership either, actually. Considering the overall morale of quests, it's not that likely. We'll see here now if he succeeds at it. As this Warrior Priest skips the turn. Ah, it's definitely not gonna hit anything with that... Uh, with that champion now. <laughs> That's for sure. And oh, if he goes in, go in here, yeah, good idea. I'm gonna force him all alone and... Uh, he will only have like 50 A new round that. has started. Ah! We see a win here for Hulk Booker. Congratulations. He goes through to the playoffs as the winner of Group C. 5-1. Uh, while uh, Quiz will be fighting off the winner between Cart and Inyar. See if he can uh, do anything. Let's see here. Yeah, it's uh, a bit unfortunate uh, that Quiz didn't put up much of a fight. I hope he can come back. We'll see. He's destined to face Minyar, I think. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the game. And uh, we'll see you in another game here coming up. So, see you then.